So look what I managed to get my hands on after about three games. I am not entirely sure why I was unable to get Weevil to summon this onto the board. I think he runs multiples of it. He kind of has to to play his Javelin Beetle Pact. I managed to get another copy of that as well, but I'm not going to run it. Same thing with Cocoon of Evolution, but again, not going to run it. So, on top of that, I got a few more spider monsters. I pulled up just short of getting another reincarnation, so I'm probably going to end up showing off what I get at the end of the segment or something like that, depending on how long the segment goes. But, uh, I'm now running basically just Garvis Fusion, plus just a whole bunch of insects and pyros for my next matchup. I add a few plants, but that's only really just to combine with the fiends to make Rose Spectre. I'm basically focusing as much as I can towards Forest on this one. Primarily because our next opponent for this segment is going to be Skill Specs here. I don't care what anybody says, this is just like a incredibly just bulky built freaking Skill Specs. He's even got the Ogres to do it. Don't stand a chance. The ironic thing here is that I usually go into games like these overly cautious, but here, if I get my hands on a forest, then I'm pretty much going to win. That's basically how this works. See, there's the forest. There we go. The reason my confidence has skyrocketed with this forest is because the Darkness Ruler likes to run a deck filled with fiend monsters. And while the bulk of the field was Yami terrain, uh, dark terrain even, they're the same, they're literally the same thing, just in different languages. They benefit his fiend type monsters. This forest detriments them. And so I'm pretty much well already well on my way to making the Javelin Beetle packed live. So let me go ahead and just slot my Hercules Beetle right there. Uh I'm hoping I can stave off his monster. Alternatively, he could just sort of keep his monster right there and just not do anything with it. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, let's uh, flip this up. We'll put it in defense mode. Okay, cool. He's running. The, the one thing I know this guy for is the fact that he runs Gorgon's Eye, which is literally the same thing as Shadow of Eyes, which we've been using a fair bit in this LP. The only difference is, on top of stopping the thing, forcing the monster into attack mode, uh, Dorgon's Eye also drops an eternal spell binding. Not very good at all for me if I decide to just, like, throw something like that in defense mode. Thankfully it wasn't on the board. Okay, Garvis Fusion triggers his merit control. He runs a... He, my memory tells me that he runs a lot of... Uh, long range, uh, limited range traps even, and so that's one of them. That's Spellbind for one turn, plus reduced strength by 800. Not the worst thing in the world, but 25 down to 17 is still a bit of a hefty card. I'm going to run over the top of it anyway, so... Oh yeah, I got a bear trap from Weevil as well. Let me just go ahead and uh, pop that behind my leader. Actually, get rid of that, get rid of that. I can afford to waste a bit of time here because I don't want this segment to end up freaking finishing after like five freaking minutes and if Garvis was able to get in his attacks without triggering any traps then we'd have that sort of thing going on. Now then, I have drawn into my Cocoon of Evolution plus I have a Lava Moth. So by combining the two I create Lava of Moth. And that Lava of Moth strategy has literally just gone straight down the drain because now he's got his fucking Gorgon's Eye. Yeah, this thing is an asshole. Cancels the move, Eternal Spellbind. Which kinda sucks. The way Lava of Moth is supposed to work is that if you put it, if you flip it uh, face up in defense position yourself, it, and it has to last five turns. If it lasts those five turns, it turns into a pupa of moth. As we see an infinite dismissal go off there. And then when you flip that pupa of moth into defense mode, if it lasts the duration of the opponent's turn, and you start your turn with it in defense mode, 
it will become a perfectly ultimate Great Moth. If at any point it's destroyed in battle before then, then the monster that you get depends on whether it's a Lava of Moth or a Pupa of Moth when it's destroyed. If it's a Pupa of Moth, you will still get a regular Great Moth. If it's perfectly, like, if it's Lava of Moth though, you're only going to get Lava Moth out of it. Now then, speaking of kick-ass fusions, Meteor Black Dragon will now enter the fray. Swing into this thing, and it's another trap. Acid Trap Hole. Fuck me, dead. That's even worse. Sometimes I have reasons to hate life. That's one of them. This guy's pissing me off with his traps. And it... I was going to say this guy's pissing me off with his traps and it's pissing me right the fuck off, but no shit, Sherlock. And I bet you anything he's got a trap ready to stop me from swinging over his Gorgon's eye. Because I would really like for that to happen. Thankfully I've got enough stuff to sort of cover any traps that he might have. Mmm. It would be really lovely if I could just, you know, get that Gorgon's Eye off the damn board. Can I at least do that, please? Wait, what? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Attack boost for same type friendlies. That's not good. That means it'll just get straight over Lava of Moth there if I don't kill it immediately. Well, I've got the Javelin Beetle packed. And I do have everything I need to summon it. Let's do it. So, for a ritual, you're obviously going to need the required monsters. And I do have those. There's one insect, there's two insect, there's Hercules Beetle. All you need to do is flip it up, just like any other spell card. And it'll then just do this weird, funky old cutscene. And summon the ritual monster where you activated the ritual card. Now since that, I'm almost dead certain is a trap, I'm not going to swing into King of Yami Makai. If he is so desperate to, to kill me, then he's going to swing into my monster. And just for shits and gigs, uh, no. Let's turn that on. Just in case he decides he wants to swing over me. Please swing over me. Please swing into me. Damn it. And he's still got another card adjacent to my, his king. That's the thing that bloody pisses me off e even more. Okay, uh... Quagga Hercules, can we finally get rid of this thing? Thank you, the Gorgon's Eye is dead. And the fact that that's not a, tra a, tra a limited range trap means I'm going to go ahead and just swing in. It's been a while since I turned the battle animations on. I'm not too sure why I turned it on for Javelin Beetle of all things. It's got a kind of a shitty bat attack animation here, if I'm going to be br brutally honest, because it charges its little spear and then just stabs the opponent at full force. And, and, and by the way, that hole was already there. So, don't go thinking, oh, he actually pierced a hole, because that's just not the case. Also, why exactly... It, like, why exactly is this thing called Javelin Beetle? That thing does not look like a javelin to me in the absolute slightest. It just looks like a pretty awesome looking spear. Not too sure what the go is with that. Moving down here, because he knows he can get over Quagga Hercules. So there he goes. Reaper of the cards. That can move around with that triggering limited range traps. So even if I could lure it into the t forest terrain with my bear trap, which I got with Weevil. It's not going to do anything. I mean, I'm fine with it. Because I've still got my Javelin Beetle sort of wrecking some house. And if I can extend my forest terrain out towards his just sort of general area, then that'll always be nice if I can get the damage in on him. Uh... Let's see, 2550. I'm not going to be able to do an absolute crap ton of damage here. I'm thinking if I take his monster with Laughing Flower, it's only going to be 1880. 
Yeah. Don't know about that. I think for the time being, I'll just throw Molten Behemoth down. I'll put him in defense here. See if he can move his monster into mine. I don't think he'll be stupid enough to try to attack into that thing. No, he's actually backing right the fuck up. Okay. So, what kind of traps do we know that this motherfucker has? Yeah! Mesmer Control, Acid Trap, Oh, Gorgon's Eye, fucking... Every single card in his graveyard bar one is a trap. Think we're, and I think we're about to find out what else he's got in the way of traps. Come on. What do we got? Uh, he's actually got no traps on board, surprisingly. He's just got Ryukushin powered, he's got that thing, that thing, plus a paralyzing potion. That thing can piss people off. It's the only spell card, it's the only equip spell in the game that you'd rather use to equip the opponent with. Um, actually, I've actually won. <laughs> Yay. Hooray for just abrupt ends to the segment because we've won. Knowing that he's got no traps around him, I can just move twice, swing at him with Javelin Beetle. And then do the same thing with Molten Behemoth and attack the game. Yay, valuable experience in the hopes that I'll get Molten Behemoth to major rank before the second freaking fab whatever the hell boss it is. I'm still not expecting it to be the case, but whatever. Okay, so this is basically just Potluck Traps Edition, although not all the traps are in there. I don't see Shadow Spell. I obviously don't see Gorgon's Eye. Or King of Yami Makai, though. And I'd get King of Yami Makai. Sure. Thankfully, that is one step towards getting a uh, Summoned Skull in a roundabout way. Because this guy also runs a card called Job Change Mirror, which may not seem that interesting, but actually does create a fair few decent fusions. You fuse it with any kind of Fiend, and you make a somewhat stronger Fiend. Like, you can get stuff like Ryukish and Powered, um, but if you fuse it with a King of Yami Makai, you get a Summon Skull for whatever reason, which I'm quite happy to... Um, I'll be quite happy to have that if I can get my hands on it in the slots, but... In the meantime, we've hit 30 wins, so that's another reincarnation. But the other thing that we need to do, as the screen goes to black for whatever reason, is get our next code. Again, 0 to 847. Before anybody asks, 847 is the number here because there's no other, there's no card number beyond it that has a code, in case people forgot or whatever reason. Uh, 59. Sagi the Dark Clown. We were literally one number away from getting the code for Exodia's head. Instead, we get Saggy, which serves pretty much next to no purpose. Not that Exodia's head would serve purpose, given that it's Exodia's head. Uh, can we do this, please? Thank you very much. Approaching 14 minutes, and the thing that makes... This code really annoying is the fact that it is literally nothing but letters. No numbers at all. So I gotta waste the time to get all these letters up and shit like that. Hey. I'm somewhat deflated actually because a lot of these codes that I've gotten have just been absolute garbage. So yeah, they're saggy. It serves next to no purpose. I don't know why it says it's strong in Toon Terrain, though. I, I guess the fact that it's a clown means it benefits from it, or something. I'm not too sure. It's very dumb, though. <laughs> that's better, though. Alright, that's about it. I showed off the Javelin Beetle. I tried to show off the Moth, but Panic decided, no, no, you're not having any of that. Oh, I'm sorry, not Panic. Um, Skill Specs. That, 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 that's what he is, his skill specs. <laughs> Alright, that's it. We've got, uh... We'll show off who we've got next uh, out of these last two. After these two, there's only two others before we... Uh, unlock the next character. So we got Pegasus, Keith, 
There's a fellow up here who is unlocked regardless of which of these two you beat, but there's one on this random island that I have to beat Pegasus for. So it's likely that I might be putting this off, maybe? Just to go up against Keith next. I'm not too sure how I'm going to approach that. Um, I might do a couple of games against this guy off screen to get Job Change Mirror, because if I can do that, then I can make... I can run both my Red Eyes plus plus the Meteor Dragon, plus the Summon Skull Fusion and stuff like that, and go trolling. Now then, I will end my segment here because my voice is starting to tear me a new one. And I've got work tomorrow. Ugh. See you next time for whoever I'm going to go up against next. <laughs>